Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make five different cards using Close to My Heart's Country Dragonfly stamp set. This is the stamp set and it comes with a thin cut. So I'm using a variety of stencils and some Nouveau pastes. So we're going to start out with this Tim Holtz stencil and I am securing it with purple tape. I'm using the light side of mint cardstock and this is Nouveau glitter paste and it, I believe it's tanzanite purple. It's a really pretty purple that has some iridescent blues and greens. So I'm scooping out the paste and I'm putting it rather thickly at the top and then I'm just spreading it out. This is a, a Cricut spatula, or not a spatula, but a scraper. It's like the extra large scraper from Cricut. And I'm just using that to smooth it out in an even layer over the stencil. And once I've got that evenly applied. I'm taking the excess and I'm putting it back in the jar. Make sure you secure the lids on these jars. And then there's the design. So these need to be set aside for several hours or overnight to dry. And then make sure that you wash your tools and your stencils right away. So after, between all of these um, backgrounds, I went and washed everything. So this is another stencil, and I will make a list in the description below um, who makes all these stencils. And um, Offhand, I can't remember who the maker is of this one. So I am taping the cardstock to the stencil, and this one is a Nouveau Glacier Paste. And it is in ice, I believe. It is in, let me find it, frosted. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just spreading it out thickly at the top. And then I will spread it with the scraper. There's another tool which I don't have, it's called a stencil pal, and it's very similar to the Cricut scraper, but this works for me, so it's essentially the same tool. So I've got everything spread, it, spread out, and um, this paste it's really kind of cool. It's kind of, it's shiny and metallic looking and it does have, it's, it's got a little bit of dimension to it, but not a ton, but it does have really defined um, lines once you remove the stencil for that one. And then this one is a mandala stencil. Again, I, I can't remember the maker offhand. I will make a list, don't worry. So I'm attaching the stencil, the same procedure, attaching the stencil to the piece of cardstock and then the stencil to my work surface with low-tech purple tape. And again, I'm gonna use the tanzanite purple glitter paste. It's a really thick, crunchy, glittery paste that it has a lot of dimension once it's dried when you use a stencil. And I'm applying it in the same way. And this one I put down on just white cardstock. And you can scrape everything up, all the excess and funnel the leftover back into the jar when you're done. So this one turns out really cool too. 
I'm just removing all of my purple tape and there's the design and another one I'm going to use with this Tim Holtz swirling stars so this one I am using the Nouveau glitter paste in moonstone and you'll notice that I've got some um, glad press and seal over it because this is the other jars were brand new but this one I've used before and um, if you cover it with the glad press and seal and then screw the cap on it'll uh, keep it from drying up sometimes if the cap isn't screwed on or the connections aren't made properly then um, it's really easy for it to thicken up and start to dry out or even just dry out completely so the press and seal makes an additional layer to keep that leftover glitter paste in working order so and I just spread it out the same way and I'm doing that on a piece of peacock cardstock and there's the result and then I've got this leaf stencil again and I'm going to put that down with Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And this is, it's a really thick um, mixed media item. And you apply it with a sponge or something that's got a little more, it, it, the spatula doesn't work as well. But you'll see in a minute, I took my spatula to kind of mix it up just a little bit because it's almost waxy kind of. And so I needed to get some out to start being able to spread it out. And I'm just using a makeup sponge to spread the mousse. I noticed that um, Nuvo has sponges that are very similar in shape, so I just thought I would try using a makeup sponge, and it worked. So I'm just spreading that around, and it's um, got a kind of a satin sheen to it, instead of glitter. It's a smooth satin sort of finish. So after I was finished, I, I covered all of these jars with the press and seal. So that's this card. So I have let all of these dry overnight. And these are the results of each of these. So let's turn these into cards. I have my dragonfly stamp, and I'm going to stamp on white daisy cardstock with black ink this image pretty straightforward I'm leaving enough space between each um, to be able to die cut them with the thin cuts I've got each of those down and then I'm going to bring in some scratch paper to put underneath, and then I'm going to bring in my um, Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers and just color them in. I'm selecting a few colors, and we'll go through the coloring of one, and it's pretty basic. <laughs> so I wasn't um, super careful about blending um, the marker colors because the dragonfly stamp is pretty intricate and there isn't a whole lot of white space I just wanted to get some color on the design so rather than doing blending and 
getting real crazy with it. I just basically colored in each of the wings and the body. So I'll take you through coloring that. And then I did use some uh, various colors in the Close My Heart shimmer brushes on top of that to give a little shimmer and iridescence like dragonfly wings have. So let's make some cards. I'm starting with this background. It's the one that was colored with the Nouveau Glacier Paste. And I'm just kind of playing around with different shapes and I've die cut everything. And I've got uh, the stitch bracket and the scout circle. And then I have um, some older die cuts. It's the party banners and layered leaves. And the sentiment, a little note is from Lawn Fawn, and I've die cut that with um, holographic paper. So I'm starting to build my card. I'm using Peacock for my card base. And that was cut with um, the stitched rectangles, so it has a stitching around the edges. And it's the A2 size, and I'm doing it with a top fold portrait. And I'm just attaching that with um, the broad tip glue pen. And this is a piece of mint cardstock. And I'm going to frame the... Um, the leaf panel with that. So I'm putting the leaf panel down and attaching that to the light side of a piece of mint cardstock to give a bit of a border. And then I'm going to attach this with uh, some a piece of foam. It's like the fun foam that you get for like a buck a sheet at Michael's or some of those big box stores. Um, there's a lot of dimension to this card, and so it just gave it a little more um, substance to it and stability to, uh, to use a whole sheet of foam to pop that panel. And now I'm just kind of playing around with colors. I've got, I die cut the layered leaves in mint and then also in white and ultimately I decided to use the mint and I've stacked this a couple layers for dimension and stability because it's it's a pretty delicate um, thin cut so if you layer it and glue each layer together it, it makes it a little um, it gives it some more dimension so I'm adding the little note I've also stacked that one and then I'm just trimming off the edges that hang over the side of the card. And I'm using a uh, stitched bracket piece that I've cut with um, pearl vellum. And I'm attaching that. And I only am putting adhesive where the dragonfly is going to be attached on top of it so that you don't see any adhesive under that vellum piece. So here I am um, adding the shimmer brush to the wings of the dragonfly. And I'm not going to show it on camera or on this video, but I added some gems. I added some sequins and a few gems to this card as well. Got to add a little extra bling. So that's the finished card. Now we'll move on to the next one. This was the one with the uh, Tanzanite purple glitter paste and the uh, mandala stencil. So I'm just kind of playing around with colors and um, combinations. So I decided on a top fold portrait, A2 size card, and I'm using Bluebird to mat the art panel with. Now I'm deciding if I want to use one of these um, party banners or how I want to put my um, sentiment on this card. I've got the Wisteria uh, ribbon and I'm going to stamp 
you make my heart smile on the uh, scalloped circle. This is from the February stamp of the month. And you can get that for $5 with a $50 purchase. And I'm attaching the ribbon with glue dots. And the easiest way to do that is to attach your flat piece of ribbon to the card panel and wrap it around the edges and put your glue dots down. And then you can add a bow after. So I'm just kind of figuring out where I, the placement of the elements on my card. So I'm going to attach the art panel to the Bluebird cardstock with broad tip glue pen. And then I'm attaching that panel. I also used a piece of foam underneath to a piece of wisteria cardstock that was cut with the um, stitched rectangles. It's got stitching around the edges. And then I popped up the uh, scallop circle with thin foam tape and I'm adding my dragonfly and a bow and of course some additional jewels and gems off camera. So this is the finished card with that one. I love that uh, tanzanite purple. It's got blue and iridescent uh, glitter in there. It's really cool. So this is also using a card that um, a card base that I use that tanzanite purple and it's the swirled stars stencil from Tim Holtz so I'm just kind of building the card and you just trying out different elements so um, this is a stamp set that's in the core catalog they brought this one back it's called say it in style and it's got some really great sentiments for cards I'm gonna do this on a a2 side fold card and I'm matting this. Um, I'm putting the bluebird, attaching that directly to the card. And then I'm going to pop up the uh, art piece, the art panel with uh, foam as well. But before that, I decided it needed a little bit of um, dimension and it, I, it just needed a little extra something. So I got the mint uh, stamp pad out and a dauber and I'm just inking the edges to just kind of give it a little border around that and then I'm going to attach it to some foam with some white glue and then I'm going to attach the whole piece to the card base and I'm leaving a border around the edges. We'll get that attached. So currently the Dragonfly um, with the thin cut is sold out, but the Dragonfly stamp is still available and it's on sale this month. And it's a really easy stamp to fussy cut. So I wouldn't stress too much if that you can't get the thin cut. Um, don't make it stop you from buying the stamp because it's they're really the whole country animals uh, collection is super cute and they're basic shapes and easy to fussy cut so I'm attaching the uh, party banner that I stamped thank you on this one is also still available it's um, from an older catalog but they still have some of those in stock so that's how you use that party banner and this is the finished card of course I've added some jewels and I've popped up um, both the party banner and the dragonfly with thin foam tape. Okay, next card. Uh, this one I have uh, die cut the layered leaves. I've die cut it twice with white cardstock and then in gold foil for the top layer. And the thanks sentiment, I've done the same thing. The thanks sentiment comes with a shadow stamp or uh, thin cut um, 
to make a shadow. So I've got the black cardstock to go behind the thanks to kind of give it a little more definition. So I am doing this as a landscape style card and I'm attaching the black cardstock as the base. And then I'm going to attach the art panel and I'm using what's left of my nine by 12 piece of foam. And I'm just kind of piecing those two pieces together. If you didn't see me put this together, you'd never know. <laughs> so use everything you have. Um, and it, it did the job and works just fine. So got this all glued together and I'm going to place it on the card base. And then I'm going to add my other elements. So I just put a block on there to, for something heavy for it to set up with the glue. So I'm attaching the gold foil thanks to the shadow piece. And then I'll attach that to the card. I've got the layered leaves and then my dragonfly and then the sentiment. And then I found these um, crystal, uh, they're retired close to my heart. They're, um, it's a, a swoop. I don't know what they call it. <laughs> um, it's in black crystals, but I thought that looked kind of neat. And then I added some additional uh, iridescent crystals around that. Now this last card, I did not film the procedure, but it's it's basically the same as what I did with the others. I popped it with foam and added the happy birthday and some gems and the dragonfly. I appreciate you spending some time watching my video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.